In this video, we're going to look at uh, setting imperial line weights for various scales of our drawing uh, so that it works for building sections, wall sections, uh, and details, uh, and blown up details. So what we're going to do first is I'll just show you what I have already started, and that is created some new line styles. Uh, I made these for, I uh, created a fine, thin, secondary, primary, and we're going to create one more called number 5, so zero 05 heavy. And what we do with that is each line weight, I want fine to be the thinnest, so it's left at number 1. Uh, the thin line weight is number 2, same as corresponds to its name. Uh, secondary is 3, and so you just pick the drop down. Primary is line weight number 4. And then finally, heavy line weight is number 5, and that's the only 5 we're going to deal with. Um, they're all black, they're all solid. We can come back and make an air vapor barrier. Uh, I've got one here, air vapor barrier uh, line type. So I just created a new one called AVB, put it as a primary line weight number 4. It's black, and I used a uh, dash uh, 16 of an inch long. Um, th and I made another one because sometimes you want, depending on the scale of your drawing, you want that dash to re be a little longer or shorter. And so I used a, a long dash example here as well. And it's just a different choice of dashes available. So you can see here, dash 16 and 8. Okay, so we can make uh, all the line types that we want, but I'm going to focus on these five because I'm talking about line weights today. So they have assigned one through five line weights one being the lightest, five the heaviest. Say okay to that. Now, uh, again, back in additional settings, we go to line weights, and we're going to use Revit's ability to control line weights for different weights at various scales. Um, the f scales I'm focusing on are quarter inch equals a foot, that would be our floor plans. Half inch equals a foot would be our wall sections. And then I'm gonna skip the one and go right to one and a half. So I'm gonna add inch and a half equals a foot. So I go add and I look for it, one and a half inch equals a foot. I'm going to add that. That will be for our connection details. And then for blown up details, I'm going to add the three inches equals a foot. So these are the scales I'm interested in. Personally, I'm not going to use the one inch, so I'm going to delete it. If you are, you can bring it back anytime. But for now, I want to focus on these four scales. So quarter inch for plans, half inch for wall sections, one and a half for connection details. Three inch would be blown up details like a window frame or something like that. Now, if you look at the default line weights, we've got five different line weights, starting with one through five. That's what we're looking at. The lightest line weight is 0 0.003 inches, and it goes all the way up to 0 0.022 inches. And you can see a subtle change here as we switch to the larger scales. They've gone up three one thousandths of an inch, so it's not even noticeable to the naked eye. So for all intents and purposes, these are all the same line weight right now. The ones are same, the twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives. What I want to do is for these larger scale details, I would like to make the darker, or the heavier lines darker because I want them to show up. As we get into a larger scale detail, there's more white space around and it shows. So I've got these in here now, just at the defaults. Let's say OK to that. And I want to zoom in to look at our drawings. So a building section this looks fine. On a building section, the sheathing and gypsum board and everything is bleeding together, but that's okay because it is, um, it's meant to be uh, showing wall assemblies anyway, construction assemblies. So it's okay that that bleeds together. So I'm happy with that. So that's the quarter inch for a building section. For the wall section, we're at a half inch, and I think this reads okay too. For a wall section, I don't expect to see everything. I don't mind if the gypsum board bleeds a little bit. I'm not really even expecting to see the air vapor barrier at this scale. What I want to see here is the wall and floor assemblies, know what is in construction or, or connect. Uh, what is in section, what is in elevation, and show the insulation in there and be able to tag the walls for construction types. So I'm happy with the building section at a quarter inch, I'm happy with the wall section at a half inch, but when we get to the detail stage, in my opinion, because of the larger scale, we've got a lot more white space involved, and I think that this set detail could read better. So what I would like to do is uh, beef up these lines in section and any line any edge in section we know is a primary line weight which is number four 
The same thing when we get to a large scale detail like this. This is just a default window detail from Revit, but I want you to see how it's not really that clear uh, on line weights. I've got a uh, uh, polyolefin line type here done just in dots so it shows up different than polyethylene. So I'll just leave those alone. But anyway, what I would like to do is change the line weights for just the line weights number four and five the primary and heavy for these two scales, these larger scales. So if you look at what it looks like now, let's go in and modify it and see how it changes. Going into line weights, so for connection details, which is what we see in the background here, ha one and a half inch equals a foot, I like the light line staying the same, so we're going to leave the defaults alone. But I want my number four primary line weight to be darker. So what I'm going to do is take these two line weights, five and six, and move them up so that my number four now is going to be the 0.25 and my number three or number five line weight my heavy line weight is going to be a 0.35 and I don't even care about six seven eight I don't use those anyway so what I've done though is gone a major jump so that things that are in section primary line weight have gotten darker lines heavier lines at this scale so let's just see what that looks like if I hit apply watch this drawing behind us here and see how it reads. Apply, say OK. There, now it bumps up. I don't know if you noticed it, but from here uh, you can see now that everything in section has a, a stronger, heavier weight to it. Um, it looks like this um, sip that I drew with the wood member in section, that should be, it's a wood member in section, so that should be heavy. So I might go in and just change that, take this and remove the X's. So I've just got the box around it and I'm going to make that heavy. That read, that's going to read better and I'll do the same thing here. So we're responsible for making sure that everything that we draw two dimensionally comes in at the appropriate weight. So we know that dimension lumber is always going to be heavy. So now and same thing here with this bottom plate. Those we want to make sure that those are take away the X's. The X's are always going to be fine but the box itself, the member itself is going to be heavy. Uh, same thing here. Collect these, remove the X's because they're staying fine and turn those to heavy as well. Click. Uh, I must not have picked that properly. those two I want to be heavy. Yeah, you can see they were set to thin. So now my plates uh, are reading better. I want to get this one in here and those two in there were thin. I want those to be heavy. So there, the plates now read heavier and all of the secondary or primary lines for things in section have been beefed up so they look better at this scale. Notice here that it hasn't affected our wall section. Our wall section is still at the same line weights as it was before. And if you look at this large scale detail, it hasn't been adjusted yet. So let's go in and do that. Line weights. You can see here that the top three line weights stay the same all the way across. The one and a half inch, I went up a step. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take five and six line weights and move them up to four and five. So I'm going to make number four a 0.25 and uh, number five a 0.35. So I've made them one step up. Now this is always adjustable, but I'm just going to put that as a starting point, say OK to that. And I think these two details read reasonably well from a s line weight point of view. I think that beefing up that line has really helped. Now it is up to you if you wanted to make these line weights a little heavier for the larger scale detail. That's something that you can do on your own. But the bottom line is that you are responsible for the line weights in Revit. There is no excuse to say that Revit did it this way. You have to be in charge of your drawing so that it reads appropriately. So our building sections and wall sections I think are fine at the default line weights. But if we beef up our line weights for the wall, uh, connection details and window detail scales, then we don't have to bother adding a profile line because we can work with uh, Revit's automation.